Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over EIGRP passive interfaces, um, and we're also going to take a look at another feature that was introduced in the EIGRP named mode where you could shut down the interface for the EIGRP process. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is let's take a look at our topology. Uh, we have R1 and R2 on a directly connected link, and then we have R2, 3, and 4 on a shared Ethernet segment. So as you can see here, I did show IP EIGRP neighbors on R2 to show that we're connected to R1 over that point to point link. And then we also have a neighbor relationship with three and four over the shared segment. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is I want to configure a passive interface between R1 and R2. Um, so let's take a look at our EIGRP process. We're running the named mode. So, show router or we're going to router eigrp ccie uh, address let me move my cursor for you address family is going to be ipv4 for unicast autonomous system is one so there's a couple different ways we can do this um, on r2 i'll show you the first way which is just to set that interface as default so let's go to af interface and it's going to be gig 1.12. And we're just going to do the passive interface command. Pretty simple. Now if we do show IP EIGRP neighbors, we can see that R1 is now gone. We're no longer a neighbor on R1. However, if we go to R3, show IP route EIGRP, we can still see that we were learning 10.0.12.0, which is that point-to-point -point segment, we're still learning it. And this is what the passive interface feature does. Basically, EIGRP is still quote-unquote enabled on the interface, but you are not allowed to create any neighbor relationships. So the end result is that that interface will still be advertised into EIGRP. So what was the second way uh, to configure it? Um, let's go ahead on router three. And we're gonna go back into the named mode, address family of IPv4, unicast autonomous system is one. And we're gonna do something slightly different on this. Um, and this is actually how I do it with my production routers is I'll go to the AF interface default and I'll set passive there. So what this does is now all of my interfaces are default. And what I forgot to show you on R2, which I can show you here, is if I do, do show IP EIGRP interfaces, um, no, no, that's, hold on, let me take a look at R2. Show IP EIGRP, interfaces okay so we see gig one two three four i'll go back to r3 in a second but i'm just doing this on r2 just to show you um gig two three four shows as an eigrp interface so does our loopback okay but gig 1.12 does not now why is that and the reason is because it's passive so where can we see that 1.12 is still in the EIGRP process, but it's passive without looking at the running configuration. And the way we do that is to show IP protocols command. So if you go down here and I kind of went fast, but routing protocol EIGRP one, and we can scroll down, we're routing for networks all, and we can see our passive interface is gig 1.12. Perfect. So R3, um, interestingly enough, uh, I'm not sure why it hasn't hit yet. Could be something weird going on with my software router, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead to AF interface mode for, oh, you know what? I think I might know why. Do show run. Um, sorry, section router EIGRP, and 
that is why. Um, here's a lesson to check your configs before starting to record a video. Uh, <laughs> let's go into a uh, interface gig 1.234 and we're going to also set this as a passive interface. Um, all right, so let's do show run section router yeah, GRP to show you what we have now. All right, so we have our named mode. We have the AF interface default and all of the interfaces are passive by default. So if we do show IP yeah, GRP interface, none of them. But if we do show IP protocols, we can see that loopback three and my gig two, three, four are both passive interfaces. So this is super useful if you're doing something like, um, you know, routing for all networks, or if you're doing something really broad, um, set the interfaces to passive by default. That way you don't accidentally enable EI GRP on an interface and allow, you know, a foreign router to come in and establish a neighbor relationship when you didn't want it to. So, if we go back into router EIGRP, address family IP4, unicast auto is one. Let's go to the AF interface mode for gig one, two, three, four. And all we have to do is do no passive. So now let's take a look at our config. So now we can see we have our address family. We're passive by default on everything. But on gig two, three, four, we're not. Which means show IP, EIGRP interfaces. Perfect. We're up and running. So that's basically the gist of how to configure passive interfaces. Um, the other feature I wanted to show you guys is pretty cool. This one is. Um, doesn't exist in the classic mode. And actually I have R1 in classic mode. To def uh, just to quickly go over it, to configure it, uh, uh, passive interface in the classic mode, all you have to do is just passive interface and then you do which one you want. So if you want to do default, you can do passive interface default. And then you could say no passive interface um, for gig 1.12. Uh, pretty easy or if you wanted to just configure a specific one you could say passive interface you know gig if I had 1.3 um, which I don't have so the parser is yelling at me but that's just the classic mode uh, way of doing things but what I wanted to show you guys is a cool little feature that let's go to um, Let's take off this passive interface command. So let's go into conf t and I'm just gonna quickly get in there. No passive end. So let's say that R1, no router EIGRP1, um, no router EIGRP1. Let's say that there's no need for me to have EIGRP on this link. Uh, maybe R1 is our ISP, right? And if we do, if we took take a look, let me just scroll back up. If we take a look, we can see that router EIGRP, uh, we no longer have this passive, so we can ignore that, but we're doing network 0000. Now, in most scenarios, you're not going to want to form an EIGRP neighbor relationship with your ISP, and you probably don't want to enable EIGRP on your WAN link. Um, it's, it's just a security hole. There's a number of reasons why you wouldn't want to do that. So what we're going to do instead is we can still be lazy and do the network 0000 command to put EIGRP in all the interfaces, but we can actually turn off EIGRP on gig 1.12. So how do we do that? So let's go to Kathy router EIGRP CCIE. 
Address family is IPv4, autonomous system is one. What we could do is go into the AF interface mode again, gig 112, and shut down. So let's do show IP interface brief just to see what this command did. So you can see gig 112 is still up and up, but show IP EIGRP neighbors, it's not in there. I mean, I'm sorry, I did the wrong command. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. We see gig 234 and 2. We don't see gig 12. And sure, yeah, we saw that on the passive. So let's just do a show IP protocols for a second. And it's not in here under passive either. So let's take a look at that configuration again. Uh, router EIGRP. AF interface. Gigabit Ethernet 1.12 shut down. And if we go to R3, because remember when we did, uh, when we put this link in passive mode, R3 was still learning that route. Let's just show IP route EIGRP. We're not learning that route anymore. So this is kind of a cool feature um, when your network statements are broad. And, you know, it doesn't have to be as dramatic as mine is right here with the 000. Let's say your network command was 10000 slash 8. And you had another interface in there that was, you know, 10.2.1.1. And you didn't want that to be in EIGRP. And you didn't even want that to be passive in EIGRP. You can completely take it out of the topology by issuing the shutdown command. So a pretty cool feature um, in this video, you know, we went over passive interfaces and the shutdown command. Let me know if you guys have any questions and we'll see you on the next one.